I was uh, 22 when I got that tattoo. But um, I think that was just making one of my uh, birthmarks visible. So it dates back earlier than that, you know. I've been playing guitar since I was uh, eight or nine years old, and I think uh, that's a result of my interest in music. I uh, was growing up with lots of rock and roll music around me, and uh, I uh, discovered hard rock and heavy metal at a very early age. Uh, I think what we try to do in the beginning of the 90s when we, when we had just formed Dissection was to, you know, step further into, you know, you know, exploring dark music. Before I went into prison, the band was on the verge of breaking up. Uh, we actually broke up uh, unofficially and I was putting a new lineup together. It was a temporary uh, setback, but uh, for me personally, it was always just a matter of time until Dissection would be back, you know. There was lots of, uh, you know, uh, different opinions within the band about uh, what, what we were doing. And uh, I always wanted to put uh, emphasis on the satanic concept, as I see that's the, you know, that's the reason why I'm playing, that's the reason why I'm writing lyrics, you know. That's the reason why I'm doing dissection. And obviously that was not... Uh, an opinion that was shared within the band by all members at that time. And there were lots of things going on around and uh, I think a lot of turbulence, uh, you know. I think lots of personal differences and also lots of uh, outside influences and also a lot of, uh, I think, uh, uh, there was lots of, uh, lots of uh, hell racing going on at the time. And uh, yeah. Uh, some, some, uh, some of us uh, did not appreciate what was going on. And I think, uh, for me, you know, my lifestyle was always about, uh, you know, breaking boundaries and, uh, you know, reaching beyond any normal level of, uh, of existence. So I think at this, at, at this particular time, there was obviously, you know, a lot of uh, breaking of boundaries. When you start out as a band, when you're very young, I think uh, maybe not everybody really understand what you mean with it, you know, and they, they maybe think they are into it as an, you know, artistic form or, you know, an expression. But when you go deeper into it, some people realize that this has gone way too far. And uh, that's, that's where the roads go different ways, you know. Some people are prepared to, you know, step into the unknown and to, you know, explore the dark for real. The goal was always to look for some kind of answer. And I think that's the, you know, the drive that's been, you know, pushing me forward. You know, you walk on, on your own uh, road in life and you, uh, you know, take things as they come and you experience certain things and then you go further, you know. And I think that was just not, you know, at one particular time that it was one crossroad where, you know, everything was uh, changed and, you know, people went different ways. I think that was a process that, you know, took place all the time and the music has been a way for me to, to, uh, to do this, uh, you know, uh, exploration or to walk on this path. And I think every single step is, you know, maybe uh, equally important, I don't know. You know, writing lyrics, uh, thinking about these subjects, uh, expressing yourself with music and uh, you know also by uh, you know digging deeper into what lies beyond uh, just the surface it's about getting to know yourself i think you know there are some things that 
interests you or that you know attracts you or whatever and you have uh, this need to you know find out about it and I think that's the drive that's been you know the main reason why I've been doing dissection because I could you know have an outlet for all this it's not so much about expressing beliefs as about expressing yourself and I think that's a part of it you know and uh, certain personal convictions always shine through. At the time that I was uh, sentenced to 10 years in prison, I had been uh, serving eight months in uh, custody already. And I was, uh, uh, yeah, I was uh, already sentenced to eight years. I actually got two more years, you know. I don't think that I looked so rational about things when I went into prison because the whole thing was very, um, overwhelming in every way and I think uh, I just uh, took it day by day as it came you know and um, it was a new situation for me in every way so uh, it was not just that I could you know uh, just from one day to another uh, you know sit down and say okay now let's do this here and you know now I will have time for this or that I was just uh, uh, totally overwhelmed by the situation and uh, I uh, every every step into that was uh, a new experience for me I think which I learned from definitely you you realize who your real friends are and I think that's a really uh, really valuable experience and I think that's something that, you know, I couldn't be more thankful for that, actually. And I think uh, as, as I uh, got used to the situation or got more acquainted with, uh, with the environment in prison, then I would more and more uh, find uh, some kind of, uh, I wouldn't say peace with the situation, but I would find some kind of uh, acceptance about the fact that I had to serve these years and uh, the musical uh, process of writing and uh, composing music in prison that was uh, actually something that that was going on from day one because I was already having uh, songs uh, in the process when I was uh, when I was arrested. So all this material was spinning in my head and even though I was sitting in isolation, I mean I was thinking about all this material and you know working on the on the on the stuff. So I think I think there was never any any uh, I never had a, a break from that. I, I just continued you know in that way that I was uh, that I had possibility.